Hey YouTube, it's Chris, and tonight I'm here to talk to you about something I feel is really important, and that's safe humidity. So, inside your gun safe, you want to maintain a humidity of about 50% or less. And in the summer, for me, it's not too much of a problem out here in South Texas. So, usually the hydrometer reads about 35% in summertime. But in the winter, when I'm not running the air conditioner, and I may or may not turn on the heater, it's real hard to get airflow in there, and the air kind of stagnates, and the moisture in the safe goes way up. And I have a real hard time keeping it under 50%. But I manage, and I want to share that with you tonight. So on the table here is what I use to keep the humidity down in my safe. Now, my tried and true... And I've had this thing for years. It is one of the best buys ever. Is this Eva Dry? And there's many models like it. There's a Remington model like this, but it's uh, the silica desiccate in this little plastic container. It's got a hook on top, so you can hang it if you want to. You can see mine is very well used. I've had this for over six years now and it's still going and on the back here you have a socket a wall socket so you can plug it in and recharge it and you know it's time to recharge it when the indicator on the front here goes from blue to pink and right now it's blue I recharge this on the weekends so at the time of this filming it's Monday evening so it's barely had any time in the safe but by next Friday, it'll be pink again, and it'll be time to recharge it. And I do this every single week, without fail, to keep my safe at a comfortable humidity level. And like I said, I've had that for six years. Maybe paid about 20 bucks for it. It is one of the best investments you can make. And following up with that, how do I know what my humidity is in the safe? I have a simple little hydrometer here. $10 purchase to know what your humidity is, invaluable. As you know, when you start getting up there, over 50%, I mean, you can't feel that. And if you can, more power to you with that kind of accuracy. But you just don't know, and your guns are going to start rusting. So picking up a little $10 hydrometer, that'll save your ass. Because you know once it gets up to 50 you need to take some corrective action immediately. And you see behind it there, I got some Damprid. And, I mean, you can pick this up at the hardware store. You know, general purpose, moisture absorber, desiccant. And, of course, fragrance-free. Fuck that frou-frou shit. But, especially in the winter, I go through a lot of this. It just sucks the moisture out of the air. It requires a little maintenance because the moisture will pile up in the bottom here. And you see this one already has a little puddle in the bottom. And it's a bit expensive because you got to keep replacing the desiccant in the top. But these are refillable. These are about $6. And the refill pack is anywhere from $12 to $18. So you just keep refilling it as you need. You pour this in the toilet. And it just keeps pulling the moisture out of the air. Again, it is invaluable. Especially in the winter when the humidity really gets up there inside your safe. It works. And it works really well. And finally, on the left here, we have these reusable desiccant packs from Stackon. And you might recognize that name. They make some gun cabinets. And I have one of their chintzy gun cabinets. But I wouldn't even put one of these in there. It's pointless. Because that thing's just open air, more or less. But inside the safe, you see these got a little pink indicator here. This one needs to be recharged. Um, what can I say about these? They're cheap. I mean, it was maybe like 10 bucks for a dozen of them. But the problem I don't like with them is to recharge them, you need to set your oven to 200F and bake them for about three hours. And that's a lot of power consumption right there, just to recharge some desiccant packs. So use your best discretion on those. They are rechargeable. You can get a lot of lifetime out of them. But the energy expended on it, just isn't worth it to me even in the winter you know 
turn the oven on, it'll help heat the house a little bit, whatever. But three hours in the oven, that's excessive, especially when the Eva dry is good in just a few hours. It's ready to go back in the safe, and it's warm when it goes in there. It just helps pull the moisture out some more. So this is what I use. And I know there's plenty of other products out on the market, but I prefer these. And I'll tell you why. So I'm sure you all have seen the, uh, the dehumidifier sticks. I know those are pretty popular at the sporting goods stores. But they require an outlet. And I don't want anything with live power in my safe. That just is too much of a fire hazard for me. And I refuse to own one. Um, there's plenty of other desk compacts, one-time use desk compacts. But I feel like I'm just throwing away money if you get those. Kind of like the Damperid, but the Damperid is extremely, uh, how should I put it? It works really well. Really, really well. So, the one-time use desk compacts just aren't worth the money to me. Um... Honestly, that's all I can think of off the top of my head. But I think you get the picture here. This is what I use, and I use it for a reason. Because, to me, it's the most cost-effective. And I know it works. Because I'm looking at the hydrometer every other day, making sure that the humidity stays under 50% in my safe. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you use. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. And I'll see you all next time.